Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I try to be in time. So today I would like to talk something about the uh, China wood industry. As you know that uh, China has not been significantly affected by the world economic recession. And also as you know that wood is good. Wood is come from the forestry. In China, the forestry ranges from the tropical forest up to the cold temperate conifer species. So whole ranges can be found in China. But China is challenging for the forestry also. Since in China we share about only 3 to 4 percent of the world forest areas and only shares about 7 percent of world forest land. But we share about 22 to 23 percent of the population. So we need more forestry. Then the Chinese government have been put big effort and uh, emphasize a lot for the plantation forest. The plantation species can be nowadays you can find we call this agricultural forest. The species are based on the poplar, that's the majority species in China. Eucalyptus from the southern part of China, south of Yangtze River. Acacia also down to south, which is also popular here in the countries like here in, in, in Indonesia, Malaysia, and India here. Also, China is rich of bamboo resources, which contribute a lot from the forestry areas. Also, there are some other species. So, setting up about plantation forests in China, it is contributed not only for the forestry land, forest coverage, but also for the wood-based panel industry, furniture industry, for the woodworking. Not only for China, but also for the worldwide market. China wood industry has been increasing significantly, but we also have some bottlenecks. So the competitiveness of China wood industry is now struggling now. As uh, some speakers already presented in the morning here, and also in the afternoon, the labor cost is increasing, the exchange rate is, is affecting export especially, like uh, against uh, the value against the dollars in previous five years already increased more than 20 percent. Efficiency use is key issue in China within industry and we are very keen on the, for that. And also I can very proudly here to announce that the recovery or the utilization forestry in China is the highest in the world by my IC within these 30 years my experience. Technical issues in China is strong and we have been absorbed and developed quite a strong technology for the wood industry. Not as the some speakers already said before here, so technically have been slowed down, but not in China. And also the Chinese workers, I thank for those who are very much. They are very diligent and disciplined hard work hard workers. Let's make the woodworking industry today have been so big and developed and also contribute for the China wood and also as well world. On the other hand, the resources nowadays from the natural soil resource to the plantation and also the diameter of logs have been reduced dramatically. So what about the machinery and technology? How to keep, keep, keep up? And also the processing, we have to be precise. And also the skilled workers also have been precisely in order, as well as the management of the manufacturers. We use almost everything from the wood, not only the dust, but also the bark. You can see these well-managed workshops. I was very proud to say that it's very difficult. By my eyes, saw not only the countries here, but also in countries in the Western countries. And the bamboo, as I said also before that, is a good species. Not only can be made for the almost everything which can be made from the wood, also can be made from the bamboo. The technical innovation in China have been contributed a lot in this area, also to the worldwide. Both the bamboo and the forest, the wood, 
have been made for the all kind of products also have been furnished here in this room here. Actually, we are talking a lot about value adding. You can see from, I have a calculation here, 1.5 cubic meter residues in China cost about uh, 50 to 60 dollars. When they produce one cubic meter panels, it's already increased the value three times. If they overlap, overlap, and overlay, already increased the value six, six times. When they make the flooring, increase the value 12 times. Making the furnitures, it has high-end blend furnitures, can be higher as 40 times of the value. So, these have been contributed and saved the materials for the fullest contribute for the market, as well as uh, for us as a consumer. China would have been developing very quick and steady also. As you can see from all the products here, comparably. And also, these are con coming from the panels. The panel industry in China have been not only for the plywood, NDF, particle board, we are also developing other new products. Not only for the production, but also for the quality. As some speakers also have said in the morning that the quality in China for the product is not good enough. I think, no, you are quite not right. Actually, we are quite keen and uh, quite uh, managed well and concerned about the quality, as well as like uh, American Cup toxic program, we follow exactly. And also you can see from the website, from the Cup that how many meals have been certified in China, which all those products have been ex um, exported to the US market. Return in terms of uh, legality and uh, legal resource, China has been increased dramatically for uh, both FAC, PFC, as well as old school local scheme, China policy certification. Our certification actually have exactly traceability programs have been traced back to the forestry. This system we have talked about many times in the conference in the worldwide, as well as talk with discuss with the PFC FAC scheme together, which is already proved good. It works. Not only works in China, but also we are now talking together with the UK and the USA. We try to commonize. China is also, as I said, a big production, big export. Now on the market side, quite many countries, many people are talking China quite hard. Yes, you are right. But comparable in China, both import and export, relatively we are not big enough. As I said in the beginning, all the data and the numbers. Both import and exporters from this data are retrieved back from the UN in 2009. And nowadays on the market, the problem, the problem coming from the trade balance. Actually, the trade balance have been already politically used, which is already lack of communication and understanding. I think, I believe, there are quite a narrow views. And the lack of insufficient market uh, imply and says the market applies. Also, we can internal market applies. Also, we already heard in the morning that all the consumer from the market side, like what they concern, it is a price. Not means the quality, not means anything else. And also, the trade value was increased the consumer's cost. The trade value do not benefit either not only, not also for the petitioner, also not for the respondent. Because I was in charge of these areas, I know well about the industry, about these things. We have been arguing a lot in the industries. As I just come back last week, in, I've been participating in a hearing in ITC in D Washington, D.C. So, how we do? Where we are? We are struggling. We cannot find ourselves. And also, there are new programs coming very soon. The emission program, the carbon tax program. So the problem is, who should pay for that? Does the people, as the green line from the end, I cannot find it, the mouse. Does these people living here should pay for this 
people stay in the tent, or does these, these people, they should pay the taxes for these people, which we're working around? We don't know. Maybe you'll know better. We can discuss later. The China wood industry are struggling now. Because of the world economic recession, because of trade barriers, because of the export decreases, there are hundreds of mills are closed down, there are millions of people unemployed. How to manage? How to continue, continue to survive? We want to find a way out, but it's quite difficult. Now, the government has been put a big effort on the domestic market, try to increase China to uh, 1.3 billion people's domestic market, which also not only for the China our own product, but also for the worldwide, as also the American European products are coming to China market. Yes, you are welcome. And in this figure you can see exactly that how many buildings have been, should be built up, how many cities should be built up in China. Comparably, even in the worldwide, they are huge. That's a big market for our industry. Not only for our own industry, but also for you. Also, there's another new things coming, which can be contributed for our industry to continue, which is the biomass and these low carbon areas. We found exactly that these plantations in China have been contributing not only for the production, for the products, for the market, but also for the environmental. They are emissioning for organics. Thank you very much. Thank you for the International Wood Culture Society supporting me for this conference and for my presentation. Thank you.